Okay, so I'm recording the podcast for EnglishBanana.com. I'm recording the introduction to the podcast at the moment. So let's get started with that. Hi, welcome to the free English podcast from EnglishBanana.com. Thanks for downloading. I'm Matt Perland. And this time, this week, it's modal verbs. Modal verbs. What do you know about modal verbs? And we're going to be using a brand new pack of materials from EnglishBanana.com all about modal verbs. So that's coming up in a moment. Uh, I can, I should remind you just to subscribe to us on Acast and iTunes. And that way you'll get the latest episode of this podcast. It's usually a weekly podcast. And don't forget you can contact us on Twitter at English Banana. Go to our contact page on their website, EnglishBanana.com. Email is info at EnglishBanana.com. And I'd love to hear your feedback, comments or questions, um, suggestions for new podcasts, for example. Or I'd like to hear from you if you have something to promote that's interesting for teachers of English or ESL, EFL, or any acronym like that. Uh, this week we've got an interesting app. I'm going to talk about that after the main section of the podcast. So that's coming up later on. An interesting app. That's something to look forward to. So let's begin and learn all about modal verbs. Uh, don't forget you can download the material for this lesson. It's from our podcast page at EnglishBanana.com. So I'm sure you, you'll be able to find it there. Let's listen and learn about modal verbs. So that's introduction. That's done. That's in the bag. It's kind of improvised and scripted at the same time. I've got a list of things here that that sort of things to cover. Generally, is subscribe, tell a friend, uh, promote any promotion that we're doing on the website. So this is a new pack of materials that people can get and download. That's something to promote, and it's free stuff, free material. So in the second part, I'm going to. Um, do the outro. Let's talk about um, what um, really just end the podcast and say, oh, that was interesting, wasn't it? And thanks for listening again. And I've got promotion to do for somebody for an app um, about the alphabet, which is really nice. So doing that, doing a free promotion there for somebody, but it's interesting, it's relevant, it makes some interesting content uh, for the podcast. Just a few minutes worth. So I'm going to do that now and hopefully get it done in one take, because it doesn't, it's not that important, it's just the ending of the podcast. So I hope that was something useful interesting, exciting, wonderful. I hope you can use it, that you should use it, you will use it, you must, you have to, etc. 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 Don't forget you can download the materials for this lesson from our podcast page on EnglishBanana.com. I hope you'll be able to download them and receive them, print them, photocopy them, do whatever you want. Uh, all photocopyable stuff. So, if again, if you have any comments or questions, suggestions for the next podcast, feel free to contact me at info at englishbanana.com. I guarantee to read your emails or tweets and usually reply if they need to reply. And um, this week, somebody did contact me about a new app which they produced. It's called Learn the Alphabet with Nialdi the Witch. 
And this is a, an app for children, really. It's uh, teaching them the alphabet, how to draw the shapes, how to write the alphabet. It comes with printable educational material. Uh, it's really nice. It's really nice, really funny. Uh, you can find this on iOS. If you've got iOS, you can find it on um, Android for Android people. And you can find it on Amazon App Store as well, for Amazon people. Um, and they write, they wrote to me, this is from uh, Giada and Ivan. They wrote to me with all the details <coughs> and uh, I decided to include it in the podcast talking about the letters of the alphabet. And I tried it out, it, it's really nice. Uh, there are different options, so you can um, go through the whole alphabet with somebody giving a commentary, how to draw the shapes, what, what they remind you of. You know, letter A is like a roof, or it's a triangle shape with a line or a stick, as they say. <clears throat> or you can turn off the sound, you can just have the music. There's animations for each one with the character, the which character. And um, I think it, it was really nice. Some ideas came to me, you know, if you turn off the sound and you could uh, pause between each letter, you could ask the children to say number, any number of words with each letter, for example. That's one activity. Um, you could ask them to, to draw the letter as it goes along. There's loads that you could do with this. Um, that would be nice on a on a tablet or an iPad, for example. Really nice drawings and animations. Plus, it comes with an ebook, a coloring book, which supports it. I mean, I downloaded this. I was surprised when it when I saw it was 53 pages long. So it's loads of and loads of uh, pictures, coloring pictures. You no know, D for dinosaur, and, uh, E for elephant. But with the character, and it's quite an original style of drawing. Um, the pictures are really, really nice. So, what else did I want to say? Good for young learners, good for children's lessons. Um, you know, the, the printouts could be for homework. Or you could do in the class. You could make a frieze on the wall with all colourful versions of each letter. So that's it's a really good idea. Um, I like I like this, so I can say uh, have a look at it. It's called Naildi the Witch. It's on iOS, Amazon, Android. Um, just looking at the email, they said each one of the letters has a clear font, has two dedicated animated pages. The first one describes the letter, so the shape of it, and it's also comparing letters. It's saying like Q is like O, but with a, a tail or part, an extra part. The words are selected to catch kids' attention and, and imagination, lively and colourful animation, the professional narrator's voice. Just one comment, I wondered why the narrator was uh, an, an American voice. But, it's no problem. It just comes um, uh, as a point when we get to the letter Z, for example, we wouldn't say it in British English. Of course we say Z. Z. So, that was that. If you have something that you, you've done that you want to promote on this podcast for free without any payment, any bribery, then please contact me and we'll see, see what we can do. Um, educators are generous people, usually. Happy to share what they're doing. So I'm happy to share this one. So go and find out about it and see what, see if you can use it. Niall did the witch. And I think that's all for this podcast. Thanks again for listening. Um, and if you have any 
For comments or questions, please get in touch. Um, just a note about the music. Thanks to the people who have uh, shared the music for this podcast. The, uh, the details are available in the podcast file. And this, I, I really like this theme. It's again, it's shared the free thing. It's Creative Commons. So, thanks for sharing. And thanks for listening, folks. Hopefully see you next week with another podcast. In the meantime, enjoy your modal verbs. Let's learn them all at once and get it over with. And then we can uh, move on to other things in the lesson with this under our belt. So thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye for now. So that's really it. That's the end of the podcast. Done. Recorded. Like I said, in one take. And they don't. They don't call me one take. Berlin for nothing, you know. Yeah. And they don't call me that at all. But that was two minutes, so I've got that. The next thing to do will be to put together the podcast. I've got an introduction, which is which we did just now. I've got the main body, which is about. 36 minutes long that was done yesterday and the ending bit so I've got to put it together I'm using a software called Audacity and then put add the music as well I've got music intro and outro put it together in Acast and hopefully I'll do that later today and you'll be able to download this podcast, listen to it from tomorrow, from Saturday, 6th, 6th of February, 2016. So, <laughs> it's quite bizarre doing this uh, on Periscope and recording the podcast at the same time. And I forgot to mention about Periscope, but I will mention it in the details. I'm sure there's potential here for doing some lessons online if people are interested then please let me know or join or subscribe whatever you can do on Periscope I'm not sure what what the terminology is it's a new one for me but I think for most people as well so I'm going to stop the broadcast I have to finish go and do something else then put together the podcast later so thanks for watching if anybody is watching I don't know but I hope hope so. I'm cautiously optimistic that they are so see you again on on Periscope bye for now <laughs>